and a very warm welcome to Kings Park here in Durban. And here is the England team named by Stuart Lancaster for this first test. And it's a debut for Harlequin's 21-year-old prop, Joe Marler. Dan Cole is tight head. Dylan Hartley back with a bang after his ban is hooker. England about to come out. Here they come. And 2000 in this 2012 vintage join the list. And Ashton unable to take that as it came through. The rain has ceased for now. But after a wonderful weather of all week, and ever since England have arrived in this country, the storms blew in. A slight Touch. advantage in that respect. Pause. But England also going in too early there. Free kick given by Steve Walsh. Knocks it back to Barrett, who puts up the high one on his old ground. And that's all a little bit too easy for Kirshner to bring it away for South Africa. But even more jeers, really, but they still respect him there, all right. Especially as South Africa have won the last seven meetings between Touch. these two nations. England's worst run against any country. Nine defeats against New Zealand. Well, it was going well for England getting the scrum in the first place, but then the free kick is awarded to the Springboks. Francois Houlard, oh, what a break from the scrum half. That is a telling challenge from Tuilangi, such an important one, but South Africa now so close to that line. Houlard made the break, and now he waits to give it to the backs, and France stayed, forced to check, up comes Marler, Barrett's there as well, Tui Lange once more. Woods in England were the beneficiaries of a dubious call. Steve Walsh was right to have doubts. Can I have your number eight as well? Oh, yeah, of course. Where are you, Dylan? He's got more doubts here, to be explained to Chris Robshaw and Ben Morgan. I'm not backing away. It's all right. I'm not backing away. You cannot trigger early, OK? Your number eight's clearly doing it. I'm now going to penalties for repeated infringements if it happens again. Ms. Alberts took it on. Who hard once more. There's Enzabet. Tackle low there by Marla. Gets back to his feet, and England have won it. Home crowd can't quite believe it. But here's Barrett, and here's Ashton. Back goes John de Villiers. And the bounce takes it out, but once more, England additionally show the organisation and defence, and then the brilliance at the breakdown. Rob Shaw, number seven, in first, takes the ball away. They've got the sucker, sucker counter punch in them. Very well balanced match. Good spot by Steve Walsh there, the first touch from Olafia. Oh, but that's a spot from Steve Walsh that... Give South Africa a penalty at the scrum, maybe England would have been better off with the line-out. Hand in there. Hands in there, and... A short ball from Hartley, but... Roberts had read it, along with the beast. Crouch! Touch! Pause! Engage! Joe Marlow so excited about the prospect of this. In his first cap, he's not one to be overawed, Joe Marler, is he? He was bouncing around his own half, but he was doing the uh, bouncing and bouncing the box to the floor. England retain possession, though. It's Marler. It has been. And it's Owen Farrell for Joe Marler. England showed such is their scrum half. There he is, popping up, just emerging. Meanwhile, the ball has gone. Now he can play it. And England making more changes. Ben Youngs has gone off. Lee Dixon on. Marler's gone off. Joe Marler. Here comes Paul Doran Jones, England's replacement prop. And also, you can see there, Keegan Daniel is on for Marcel Kutsia in the South African back row and trying to get immediately into the match. He's gone forward and not disappointed either. England have another penalty. Here's Flood. Farrell out wide, Foden, and there is the try. Is it right at the end? Foden has he got in the corner? 
It was very tight, but England with a moment of defiance. With Ben Foden's score. And Farrell will want to continue in his rich vein of kicking form. He doesn't do that, so the final score is 22-17. Stuart Lancaster leaves his position with lots to ponder. South Africa at home, South Africa one up. And now this country, as we say, will demand 2-0 and then 3-0. England have to regroup.